That's it. Noodle's data is now dead sex data. I'm out of here, but Horatio's still in the spot. Can one of y'all help a brother out? We have access to every workstation in Noodle, including Horatio's. And this Brody guy. I'm almost done sorting it out. Well, let's see. All right, I'm done. Let's see how Horatio's doing. I'm sorry you chose not to cooperate with us. I would highly suggest you seek legal counsel. Yes. And you tracked the keystrokes? I see. Thank you. Mr. Carlin. I... I am um, so sorry. Apparently, we've made a, a huge mistake. I... What a surprise. My apologies. Oh, you, you are free to go. I'm just glad you finally got it right. Whoa, 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 this is a mistake. I mean... Mr. Goodell, take a seat. I don't... Okay, I don't think Sit that... down! Ratio, that was intense. You good? I'm better than good. Where you at? Meet me out front at the noodle bus. Hey, I'm in a massive cooling room. Any ideas on how I can get out of here? Yeah, I got you covered. There's a, a drainage conduit at the back that should take you into an exterior access. Nice, thanks. Whippee! You swapped out Horatio's keystrokes with Gooddale's? Nobody gives our Horatio a hard time and gets away with it. That's real crafty, Sitara. I'll take that as a compliment. Yo, how's the transfer going? It's gold, Marcus. Gold! Bloom's definitely tapped into Noodle's pipeline. They've even given Noodle limited access to their content. I'm all for singing Kumbaya, but this shit's got Dushan written all over it. For Bloom and Noodle to be cooperating like this, it's a major find. But it scares the fuck out of me. Oh, come on, guys. Noodle ain't that bad. What's up, Horatio? Hey, enjoy the dump, but save a beer for me, all right, Wrench? Right now, I've got some code to... Code. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate everything you did for me. For sure. But, uh, right now, can you get the hell out of here? You're making people nervous. <laughs> oh, hey, did you try Pomegrapple? It was good, right? <laughs> you look... like someone with a lot of valuable information. Tell me everything you know about that, sir. Huh.
police are increasingly alarmed by the violent acts of the Tesco Street Gang. They have recently been linked to several East Bay killings, the violence of which has been described as extreme even for gangs, according to experts. The chief of police issued a warning that CTOS and law enforcement will protect San Francisco from criminal organizations by the full extent of the law. One of our newbie followers reports something strange. Anybody heard about a bunch of funky rat masks hanging around outside the MoMA? Bunch of self-described art anarchists calling themselves the Ordinate Academy. Rodentia Academy. It's an anagram. Good catch. What's their platform? Total transparency. No privacy for anybody. Then why the masks? These rat masks. What do they look like? Stylish. Low poly. Fuck. That's default. Default? The musician? Default, the ex-deadsec hacker. Default, the psychopath asshole who tried to gas me in his fucked up spook show house. Okay, I'm definitely gonna check these guys out then. Gives me a chance to meet one of the new followers too. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? Uh, hello? Sitar, Josh? Please tell me this is not what I think it is. Marcus, you hear me? Oh, yeah, I got you now. I'm getting trolled. Did our app server get hacked? Might want to get back here when you can.
it's all good. Get out! Stop! What is that? Fucking city. No way. Are you serious? Move out! Sit here, fucking city. Hackers flagging terrorists for the FBI? It seems that's the Bureau's plan. With cyber attacks on the rise and the CTOS integrated into every aspect of how our city functions, the FBI has taken extreme measures to protect that technology. A congressional report reveals that the FBI is pushing for expanded powers to pressure hacker groups for specific techniques. The FBI also wants to be able to identify and flag hackers and hacker groups even if there is no evidence they've committed any crime. Freedom of information advocates say this is an unprecedented Out request now. that threatens civil liberties. Of course, fucking Lenny. Citizens of the world! May I have your fucking pathetic attention? Dead sec, dead sec, <laughs> is a bunch of losers spamming your newsfeed that they pretend to be the saviors of your free will. When really, <laughs> they're just some script kiddies who want desperately to be popular. <laughs> it all stops now. I. I'm going to teach DeadSec a lesson. And DeadSec, if you think I won't, 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 or <laughs> can't <laughs> destroy your system, <laughs> well, then, please allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Ah! 
told me it's just Kiki. It's just Kiki. We're house cleaning the feline. Josh is brute forcing the crypto key. Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh. All right. So, are we going to war for this? Absolutely. We're not letting these trolls drag us into their sewer. Dead Tech doesn't back down. So what? Well, what good is going to war with them? It won't break their lock on us. It doesn't change anything. They got it! No, fuck that. Hey, listen up. We're not gonna let Primate derail us. Let's be smart about this. All right. Primate sells zero-day exploits to anyone with money. Yeah, fucking governments, Bloom, Noodle, even goddamn terrorists. Sons of Ragnarok. What? Hell yeah, Sons of Ragnarok. They hire themselves out to Sons of Ragnarok, right? So we find out as much as we can about their people and their operations. We're not gonna roll over, not for anybody. Yo, Josh, man, where you at? Now it's war. Move. I'll put a message out on the back channels. These guys are bound to have enemies who will give us some intel. Let's cornhole these motherfuckers. Keep working on Kiki. I'm gonna go have some words with Lenny. You know where she's at? She likes to hang at that club in Castro. I know the place. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why Noodle would be so cooperative with Bloom. I get that there's some mutual benefit, but it could backfire in a bad way. The question is, how much of a deal does Noodle actually think Bloom's giving him? The way things are going, they're going to end up as competitors eventually. Maybe this is a keep your enemies close move so this shit with prime eight they put me at a 10 i can't concentrate josh listen lenny is just trying to distract us we keep focused on our plan right right you know i saw her once at a maker fair off stanford campus thing is marcus she knows her shit yeah she does but so do we Marcus, you got a second? Sure. What do you need? I've been looking into the algorithm we scoped from Noodle and something's off. The data it's throwing out is all wrong. You want me to stop by and take a look? Yeah, if you can. Consider it done. You know, Noodle is where my parents wanted me to apply. No shit. I even took their crazy mind-bending analytics test to get in. Oh, I hear that's one seriously hard test. Don't beat yourself up if you didn't pass. <laughs> Fuck you. I got 96%. Damn. You a beast, girl. Hey, what was Horatio's score? I showed him mine. He won't show me his. Jesus. Lenny. Yeah, no friend of ours. She's been selling zero-day exploits for years, and now, with her Prime 8 posse working with the gangs, we're starting to take a lot of big risks. This isn't what most of us signed up for. I know it isn't. But just look at what we've done so far. Isn't it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. It's worth it. What do you think Dushan's up to? I mean, this guy's working Silicon Valley, no doubt. But he's up against a shitload of smart. <laughs> does he honestly think he's the smartest guy in the room? Hell yeah, he does. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy taking that smug fuck down. Yeah, me too. Sons of Ragnarok and Prime 8? Ugh, that's an ugly mix. Layers of ugly. Ugly with ugly frosting. What's your take on Lenny? Why is she hanging with those racist thugs? Money, plain and simple. I don't think she cares enough to be racist, but she is an expert on honing in on sore spots. It makes me wonder what hers is. Yeah, something that maybe only a few may have noticed. But when the financial crisis hit in 2008, hmm, Bloom made cash when everyone else lost. Lots of it. Now, ain't that interesting. It was all above board. 
They created an algo that gave them the edge during the turmoil. Took all that cash, and now we've got CTOS popping up across country. And now they're setting up X-Labs close to Bloom Financial in New York and London. Our Bloom hack will shake them up. It's a damn good start. Prime 8 stepped up the ransomware game. They used to make their cash sell in zero days. They remind me of default. That was his M.O., hacker for hire. No code, no morals, just as crazy, too. Any ideas on what kind of encryption they're using? I gotta take a closer look and see what low-grade shit they're running. I was going over Bloom's crime prediction algorithm, just checking up on them after their WKZ debacle. And this visualization shows how they flag different areas as low risk, high risk, or lethal force authorized. So these areas up in Oakland? It's high risk. That's gang territory, makes sense. Oh, but these? That, my friend, is CTOS without any makeup. Motherfucker. They're setting schools, clinics, stores as shoot on sight? That's subsidized housing. I mean, th those people got priced out of San Francisco. Where the fuck else are they supposed to go? You hold on to that angle, Marcus. We're gonna need it when we go after Bloom. Oh, yeah, I can do that. You're right. This is systemic injustice at its highest level. You found it, Josh. Well, Ray helped me bypass the firewall. I couldn't yeah, access it. No, this so. is all yours, kid. Good work. Hey. Inherent bias, I know. And we're all pissed here. I got some of my motherfucking code in that monster. The CTOS is pushing the cops to expect a shootout. They're gonna be coming in hard, too. Basically, they'll get shot. I get it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You know, it's weird to see hackers hey, worrying about Hey, I need some brand. info. Is it okay if I stop by? Sure, but you're gonna have to come to me. I've got an appointment I'm trying to keep. In the old neighborhood? The very same. All right, I'll see you soon. Party dude, we're at the bar in Sausalito. Come on over. Wouldn't miss it. Crime prediction software can't work on you if it can't see your face. We gotta get masks for all of us. That'll show Bloom. Right, because we can all wear masks all the time. Why not? It doesn't help with biometrics. They can even recognize the way you walk now. That's why you have to walk without rhythm. Walk without rhythm, and it won't attract the worm? Yep. We'll make a fragment out of you yet. Fucking douche and Nemec. I seriously hate that guy. He's an egotistical little shit with a man bun. A man bun! Who can take that seriously? Don't hold back. Don't ever grow a man bun, Marcus. They're obnoxious. Promise me you will never even think about doing it, not even as a joke. Sounds like I've got my Halloween costume all figured out. <laughs> What Bloom's doing? It's bad. It's like the movie version of the Minority Report book, predicting crimes before people commit them. And the system is flawed because people are gaming it. Yeah, it's exactly like that. But don't worry, this will end better than the movie. The movie ended pretty well. Oh, then it will end just like the movie. That doesn't make any sense. The movie ends with the precogs being sent away to an island. Oh, okay. So not exactly the same, but still good.
Does it make you feel good to make other people shove it up your ass? Ready for the chip, then? Ah, uh, hold on. I'm savoring. Oh, look at this dick bag. So, how many lap dogs you got scrambling behind the scenes to crack my uncrackable log? Credit where credit's due. Now, now you want me to ask nicely? Because you could just give me the key and I'd be on my way. What? It's ransomware, motherfucker. Which means you want what? Oh, I want you to make one of those idiotic bids of yours. Wow, I didn't know you were a follower. Oh, you want the precious pearls to adore you? Not on my fucking watch. Fuck! I want a public broadcast that says dead set. Isn't worth two seconds, never mind 15 minutes of the public's fucking time. Is that all? Sure. For now. But if you don't do it, then I start naming the names. <gasps> That's right. Names. Identities. The veritable zoo, bitch. Damn, looks like you're not leaving us much choice. Ah. Go ahead. Get good. Until then, why don't you run along and make the video I want? Well, what does she want? She wants us to release a vid where we smear ourselves. No way are we doing that. We're gonna send her a message, all right? We're gonna blow up her shit instead. Ragnarok just hired Prime 8 to upload malware into ATM. Bank machines it is, folks. They run that through their main club hangout, Rhonda's Diner. I'll send Ghoulie there to scope the place. Meet up with him when you get there. <laughs> No, 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 no! 
make me Seriously, feel sorry for you. How many you? times I gotta tell you to beat it? What's up, Ghoulie? What's say, Retro? Ragnar boys hired Primate for some machine hacks, huh? Ragnarok has been using credit skimmers for a long time. Low-scale payoff. But hiring PA to load malware into the bank machine has tripled their cash flow. I'll bet it has. The code skims the data and sends the copy to PA. Neither the user nor the bank have any way of knowing. Ah, but we know. <laughs> yes, we do. Won't take much to mess with their code. Imagine how pissed Sons of Ragnarok will be with Lenny and Primate if anything were to happen to that operation. That's the idea. It's gonna be dangerous. You hang back, Ghoulie. All right, man. Good luck. Time to fuck up this operation. ATMs are here. Destroy the machines however you want. We go! Show your face! Come on! Watch it! Gunfire! Put the gun away now! Get away! ATMs are here. Destroy the machines however you want.
We made our point. It's as though a bajillion people exploited by zero day fraud cried out in gratitude. Then he's gonna have a hard time explaining this to the sun. Lenny, that's some telemarketing charm right there. So, we're not gonna do that bid thing. You know what? <laughs> do whatever. Don't even care. Not two shits given. I know my lock is still on your server. Lenny's right. Kiki still locked, Marcus. Doesn't matter. Game time is done. We go to their digs and get the decryption key. Back channel info says P8 has a bunker. <gasps> a bunker? But there's no location. Lenny has a RFID implant. Can we find the bunker with that? Yeah, it's possible. Sweet. Time to go see Lenny. No more fucking around. Wrench, you're my backup. Yes, I am. <laughs> 